Okay, so we're here at the Taste of Calico event and I went to the coffee hut and I got the swirling, strawberry swirling poppin' boba. I think that's right. It's gonna appear on the screen right now and it's gonna make me look like a fool. Uh, anyway, I would like to show you something. <laughs> I got two, cause um, we're thirsty. I don't know if you can tell, but these are two completely different colors. Uh, this barista put in a lot more milk than this barista. <laughs> So just be aware, there might be a little bit of variation between the drinks. Um, also, hack for your time here. Uh, if you get the boba, you get an actual straw. This is plastic um, and you can reuse this. So you don't have to use these straws, which uh, as you can see, they're disintegrating. They're not great. So yeah, let me just, there's ice in here by the way. Oh, those are really strawberry. Uh, we've had several types of the popping boba before. Um, I believe we had mango one year. And then they made boysen, no, those were actual boba. Uh, oh, I think we had cherry one year in one of the Halloween drinks. These are very definitely strawberry though. They taste very much like those strawberry hard candies, you know what I'm talking about, the grandma candies. <laughs> um, you can't see them, but they're like all down in this. Oh, um, if you didn't know, this cup is ombre, so this purple bit around the bottom is actually just purple. When the cup is clear, it's still purple. <laughs> so all of the boba are down here in this part, which is why you can't see them. Oh, there's a couple like up here you can see, but uh, overall you're just gonna you're just gonna like be surprised when they pop up. Oh, we had orange juice ones when we went to the um, food and wine festival at uh, California Adventure. This is actually a very, it's a very much like milk tea. Uh, if you've ever had actual boba milk tea, but with a little bit of strawberry flavor, I like it quite a lot. It tastes a lot like strawberry milk. Uh, there is milk in this, by the way. This is not dairy free. They put half and half in it. But it is, yeah, I believe this is the drink at the uh, coffee hut that can be made gluten-free if you are a celiac or you just like gluten-free items. So there's that. The one thing I will say about the Poppin' Boba that I like better than Boba Boba is that they never get stuck in your straw because they're never that big. So, but you do have to be a little bit more careful because they don't catch on the straw. So when you suck up, uh, they will hit the back of your throat and you will choke. So be very, very careful. Don't, don't like, um, when you give this to kids, tell them to drink slowly is what I'm saying. Cause otherwise they will suck up too hard and they will probably choke cause it will hit their throat. Uh, there's a little bit of a, not technique, but like learning curve to learning how to drink boba. Obviously I drink it all the time. So it's not as big of a deal for me, but um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit different, the popping boba, than the regular boba because regular boba kind of gets stuck in the straw a little bit so you know that they're coming up. Um, whereas these, they kind of just come up and you're like, oh, it's there and you've got to like kind of slow it down so that it doesn't hit the back of your throat. Uh, yeah, overall, I think this is a really great choice if you're here and you want something to drink. Um, if you can drink dairy, because there is dairy in it, but uh, other than that, I'm gonna take another sip of this and I will see you all on the next one.